is the founder of Craft Tech University, an online resource for craft classes. She's an amazing designer, author, entrepreneur, and teacher. Today, Linda is here to show you how to create wine glass charms from our favorite friendly plastic. I'm delighted to welcome Linda Peterson. Hi, Linda. Hi, Tiffany. And hi, everyone. Welcome. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit there. Um, yeah, we're going to be using friendly plastic. It's one of my favorite things to design with. And I want to say a couple things. First of all, Heidi, don't feel like you're the only one down to the last minute. That was me, too. And Candace, your donuts look good enough to eat. They are making me hungry. Just look at them. I can't wait for those two demos. Um, before, I, I know that we have several newbies in the room, and so I would like to do just a little handful, because my demo's uh, real quick today. Who has never heard or never worked with Friendly Plastic? If you would raise your hand, I'd like to see. Oh, good. Okay, so Candace and Liz and Bambi. Oh, good. Well, I think you're really, really going to enjoy this. This is a quick project. It's inexpensive. It's something you can make a lot of really quick, and it's great for all your entertaining. So, if Tiffany would be so kind as to put our or put my photo up. Now, for those of you who have never seen Friendly Plastic before, it comes in metallic foiled strips and it also comes in pellets, but we're only going to be working with the strips right now. So one side is colored with foil, the other side is generally black, and as this heats, it becomes malleable. So it's really kind of the opposite of polymer clay. Um, when polymer clay is soft when it's cold and then you bake it to get hard, this is actually hard when it's cold and you apply heat to make it soft. So what I did before um, the show started is I already melted a little strip of plastic. You can just cut this with a pair of scissors. I use tonic scissors because these are really strong and they cut right through the plastic. And I applied heat with my heat tool gun. I'll do that in a second, so again, so that you can see how that's done. And I've pressed, these are just those mini mini uh, cookie cutters. They come in a variety of different shapes and sizes and all different kinds of stuff. So this one here today, we're going to be working with a little um, mitten. And so you heat your plastic, just like you were making in stamping cookies, you stamp your uh, cookie cutter in there and you come out with the shape, just like that. Now the other thing that I did, you see this little piece of white over here, is I also stamped just the, the uh, cuff or the band of the mitten with white. And I'll show you why we're going to do that. So now you're going to take your friendly plastic shapes away. Most of the time and they just pop out and we're going to apply heat because we're going to melt the top surface and we're going to stick the two pieces of plastic together so actually right now we're actually designing and we're embellishing this little charm so basically you can cut these strips to uh, fit the size of your cookie cutter. That way you can minimize the waste. My strip was about an inch and a half wide because my cookie cutters are small. And you can tell when the plastic's getting uh, ready to work with because you can put a little fingerprint in there. And I might have just made a boo-boo. I don't know yet. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my little white cuff and I'm just going to add it to the top. Now the reason I heated these is because hot plastic sticks to hot plastic and that way my pieces don't melt all, uh, or they don't uh, blow all over the place when I add my heat. And the other reason why I use this heat tool is because it's mostly heat and less air. So those two pieces are bound together. Now what I'm going to do over here, but I've already melted these, let's see. I think, I think a little bit of my heat got struck there. I have some very small pieces of friendly plastic. These are just little snippets that I've taken with my scissors from leftover pieces that I have. So if you need to, you can use new friendly plastic or you can recycle some of the bits and pieces left over. And all I did was cut tiny little squares. These squares are about an eighth of an inch big. And because this is already hot, I'm just going to take and I'm going to 
make this into like a little holly leaf. So we're going to apply that there and that there. And the beauty of Friendly Plastic is that you can heat and reheat and you can cool and heat and cool and heat. So you can kind of work along as you go. I'm going to add just a little bit more heat here. Soften this up. Now the more uh, heat that you apply, the softer it gets. So you can actually make this too soft and dip that in a little bit of water. And I can just go in and I can add some little leaf marks and I can press in there for a holly. You can also do this in the oven method. And uh, you can stick these on a tray where you can stamp out a lot. Just like you're making cookies, you can stamp out a lot at one time. Okay, so we've made the basic shape. Now let me show you what the finished piece looks like. To actually make your charms, this is memory wire, but this is ring memory wire, so it's designed to fit your finger. And all I've done is I've added a couple of seed beads. Actually, some of my seed beads fell off, but I've added some seed beads, and I've poked a hole right here with the uh, with just a paper punch, added a jump ring, put it onto a piece of that memory ring, and you've got your wine charm. And I'll just show you real quick, because I'm running out of time. To show you the other ones that I have here. And so see, you can make a variety of charms real quick.